All right, there's a bunch of new stuff from last time. Connie, tell me something new from last time, please. Radius. Radius? Radiant. 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 Oh, radius. Okay. Radiant, sure. Radiant. What is the symbol we use for radiance? How do we do radiance of shorthand, David? Try. Radiant. R. R. Thank you for that. No, red. R A D. Why is it not R, David? Because that's for something else. True. What does R stand for? David, come on. Radius. Radius. Good. Something else that is new, Meredith. No. We added six things to our table of friends. You have your notes right in front of you. I'm amazed. This is where we are. Angular acceleration. Knickerbocker, what's the symbol for angular acceleration? Fishy thing. What is the technical title of fishy thing? What is fishy thing really? David. Alpha. Alpha. What is the equation for alpha fishy thing angular acceleration? Mrs. Stecker. Uh, change and um, the um, angular velocity times time. Change in angular velocity over change in time. What is the symbol called for angular velocity? Andrew. Is it Omega, what are the dimensions for angular acceleration, Christina? Radians per second squared. Radians per second squared. Uh, so we have omega, angular velocity. What is the equation for omega, angular velocity? Leah? Um, You can tell me the equation for linear velocity. Leah, the equation for linear velocity. Oh, delta, delta t over delta t. Delta x, generally. Delta, delta x over delta t, displacement over time. What is then the equation for angular velocity? Leah. Oh, I have it. Uh, sorry, it's uh, delta theta over delta t. Yeah. Okay. Delta theta over delta t. What is the name of delta theta? This song. Ah, uh, it's actually not technically change in angular displacement, Connor. It's just angular displacement. It's angular displacement or change in angular position, which is the same thing as angular displacement. Uh, we have the two most common dimensions for angular velocity are what? Radians per second and revolutions per minute are the two most common for that. We have other new stuff. Ms. Hong. Um, velocity over tangential velocity. What is the symbol for tangential velocity? Um, Delta T over sub T. V sub T with the equation for tangential velocity, Emma? Um, radius times the omega. What does omega stand for? Angular velocity. Good. Angular velocity. What are the dimensions on the tangential velocity? <coughs> uh, oh, me? Yes. Oh, sorry. Dimensions on radians? tangential velocity. Is it radian? It's not oh, no, no. radian. Uh, no. Meters times radians. Right, so it just ends up being meters per second because it's technically meter radians per second, but the radians, as always, cancel our uh, our dimensionless, so they leave. Uh, arc length. Arc length symbol. Uh, the S. It's technically just an S. I use a lowercase cursive S just for clarity's sake because nothing's more clear than that. Lily, what's the equation for arc length? Um, arc length is equal to radius. 
what are the what is the dimension for arc length, Christine? Um, three meters. because it is a linear distance traveled when moving in a circle. Uh, something else that is new from last time, Josh. Tangential acceleration, A sub T, the equation for tangential acceleration, Daniela? Um, times, uh, angular acceleration. Angular acceleration dimensions on a tangential acceleration. Width? Meters per second squared. Meters per second squared. And again, it is a linear acceleration when moving in a circle. One other giant set of new stuff from last time. Uh, Cosa? U fishy M. U fishy M. What does U fishy M stand for, Connor? Uniformly angularly accelerated motion. Uniformly angularly accelerated motion, otherwise known as U fishy M. Much easier to say. If you recall, class, there are how many U fishy M equations? Five. Five. Four. Therefore, Four. there are how many U fishy M equations? Four. And if you know, Three. you can figure out the other. Two. And you have one. Happy physics student. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, that's right. What a happy physics student. Oh yeah, I'm excited. 